Ah, bollocks. Good evening, one and all. Well, I'm saying good evening, you could be watching this in the morning, so that's uh, a completely pointless thing to say. Um, welcome to another one of my videos. This is a short video response. Now, uh, <clears throat> this is the second time I've recorded it. I recorded it about 20 minutes ago, and uh, I had the, I was using my uh, mobile phone, and I couldn't actually see what I was recording. And I shit you know, it was quite literally, you could see my eyes in the top part of my head and the rest was just screen. Now some might say that's uh, an improvement, and it probably is, but uh, it looked a wee bit daft. So anyway, listen, this is a, a VR response to Soul Funk Retro. Now he is asking, what are your top three iconic gaming, video gaming images? Now what he said was it doesn't have to be doesn't have to be a game, it doesn't have to be a video game character, it doesn't have to be, it can be anything at all, any image, movie, anything at all, or any image of anything that's related to games. Now I've watched a few of them and the majority of people have been going for, uh, they've been going for the sort of video game characters. Now I was trying to think about this, um, and yeah, I had a good, it's, it's one of these things, I mean, there's so many iconic, you know, pictures, games that have been out in the last 30, 40 years that trying to kind of pick three was always going to be tough. But anyway, I have got them. The first one is this. Yeah, that is uh, the side art to Space Invaders. <clears throat> now, the reason I've gone for that is because Back in, was it 1977 I think it was, I was uh, up at Craigswood Sports Centre, I would be, what would it be, oh, 10, I was 10 years old, um, 77, yeah it'd be 10 years old, I was up for my judo practice and uh, I, I just, I heard this noise coming from the corner of the sports centre and there was this big, all I can describe it as like a large wardrobe with uh, people crowded round it and coming from this uh, wardrobe was this really kind of bassy sort of a thumping noise on closer inspection it turned out to be Space Invaders now the picture you just saw is kind of the side art on the cab now that image when I see that image it just takes me right back to you know, 1977, 1978 whenever it was um, <laughs> the images on this side are, you know, it, it's hard to kind of explain, but this was the very, very first video game I'd ever seen. I mean, I'd seen Pong very briefly, like I saw it once at Edinburgh Airport, and uh, it didn't mean a hell of a lot. But here was a game where it was, you know, it had this quite fearsome artwork. And when you actually looked at what was going on in the screen, you were actually killing uh, aliens. And as a 10 year old or whatever I was, 10, 11 years old, you really felt like what was in the inside this box you were actually fighting. So it just it's, it just brings back so many, I mean it's happy memories, but it's just it's an iconic picture for me, the side art to Space Invaders. Um, so that is my gaming uh, icon number one. Number two is this. Yeah, you're probably thinking, what the hell? Well, I was thinking long and hard about this and these two words, they just, again, they conjure up so many vivid memories of video games. I mean, probably most of us, the earliest memories we have of uh, video games are the arcades, or in my case, chip shops, sports centres, um, the M6 service station when you used to go on holiday. And, you know, you had all these big uh, cabs with various games, you had the noise emanating from it, the flashing lights, and it always invited you to play it with the insert coin. That was your personal invitation to sort of enter another world, you know, albeit for in my case probably 30 seconds to a minute because that's who crap I was at video games, even uh, even worse than I am now. 
So yeah, these two words, insert coin, it just, it's, uh, it just brings up all these memories and images of this incredible hobby that we've got that we now know as video games. We now take for granted being able to play video games in the, in the house. And, but back then, you know, video games were very much, it was the arcades. There was no such thing as playing games, you know, at home. Computers and that, this simply didn't exist. So that is my iconic gaming image number two. Number three is this. Yeah, <laughs> following on from uh, talking about lack of video games in the house. Well, this company, Atari, they were probably the founder of the video game industry as we know it. You know, they were the first company to, although they didn't, although they didn't sort of invent the very first video game, um, I mean, Nolan Bushel, he formed Atari, they brought out um, Pong, um, and then obviously following that, you know, they brought out the Atari 2600, and then various 8-bits. So Atari really, they really kick-started this whole industry of ours. And when you see the, the word Atari now, it just, it, it just, it takes you back to sort of the very, very early 80s when this whole thing was kind of kicking off. Sadly, the Atari logo is just but a shell. It's like a zombie, you know. It's the <laughs> It doesn't mean very much. There's, I mean, the thing is, you see kids walking about with Atari t-shirts on, they've probably got no concept of what Atari means. Atari, the company, now don't exist. It's a, it's a name. I don't even know who owns the name anymore. Um, but the original Atari... Uh, based in Sunningville in California, these guys were just responsible for so many classic games, asteroids, um, Battlezone, you name it. These were the guys that really brought the arcades into the home um, and that's why I'm sitting here making this video because of these guys. So that is it, that is my third gaming icon. So anyway guys, I trust you enjoyed watching it and as usual, thank you very much for watching.